Frustration, the keyboard guess. Frustration and disappointment. You know, I think uh, it's been like that against Albion Rovers this season. You know, and uh, when they get the first goal, um, they make it extremely difficult for you. You know, they, they work extremely hard to protect that lead and uh, limited us to, to very few opportunities. Um, that's the frustrating part of it. You know, that it's just a fine, fine line between winning and losing against the two teams but we've not been able to go over that other side of the of the line. Um huffed and puffed a wee bit but uh Albion Rovers they know how to get the job done, you know, good experience, good game knowledge as well and defend very well well as a unit. So it's they're a tough team to play against. Good nerves being a factor factor today. We we were a little bit flat at the start of the game, which uh, is very, very unlike us. Um I think maybe the first half an hour against Berwick was the last mm. time we were like that at home but um, the way we finished the game was the way we were hoping to start the game. Uh, it didn't materialise. We had we had one or two good chances from set pieces, delivery from Darren Miller, you know, exceptional, and, and just didn't really, didn't really get the bounce of the ball. I think the first 
corner in the first couple of minutes. You know, uh, Neil Parry makes a fantastic save. You know, comes off the, the Rovers defender, but um, it just wasn't to be. If if we get the goal at that point, you know, I think Albion Rovers have got to change their their system or their their style of play. But um, that that's the frustrating thing that we've not got the first goal. And obviously, Albion Rovers in a very strong position now in terms of going on to win the league. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, those last two games for Albion Rovers are massive results. Um, and deserved, you know. We'll, we'll not try and get away from that. They, they went up to Broth and and won comfortably, and they've came down here and, and done their job. And uh, it's it's tough to take, you know, that um, when you're so close, you know, and then that gap opens up. I mean, a draw wouldn't have been the worst result today, but to lose it so narrowly, um, you know, it's it's Albion. I don't see that they're going to lose three games now. You know, in the final six games. Um, so it's it's theirs. They have one hand on the title. They know that. They would have said that to the players before the game. Um, but within their group, you know, good experience, and you know they know how to get the game won. The game won. Well, so there is a sense of frustration and disappointment sitting second at the table. You know, everyone at Hamden would have accepted that come last July. Yeah, th- there's no question that we would actually say at some point they've maybe overachieved, but. You know, that's maybe for people out with the group to say that, but uh, within it, you know, very quietly determined to go about their business, you know, and work extremely hard training and games, and they've got to where they are through that as well. So, um, albeit from where they've came, you know, in such a short space of time, and even the level they've been at, they've been used to winning things, uh, and they've continued to do that. Um, Obviously, today is a a major disappointment, but it's how we, we react to that two very, very difficult away games coming up at Berwick and Montrose um, but we've just got to dust ourselves down and, and make sure we're ready for those games Is there a chance that Sean Rooney could be back next weekend? Well, he trained this week you know, and uh, no reaction to it so we'll we'll assess it you know, later mm. in the week and, and see how we can fit him in And any fresh injuries from today? No, none as I'm aware of at the moment so uh, grateful of that